Hi, it's Allison from Mahalo.com, and today we're working on understanding number sets. So the first set we'll look at are the counting or natural numbers. Those are just the numbers you count with, one, two, three, four, etc. If we add zero to that set of numbers, we get the whole numbers. So the whole numbers are zero, one, two, three, four, etc. Now, if we also include all the opposites of these numbers, the opposites are the negative values, that gives us the integers. So the integers would be negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. And it goes off in both directions. We have all the negatives and all the positives. Now, any time you can express a number as an integer over an integer, that number is called rational. So 1 over 2, 1 half, is a rational number. So is negative 4 over 5, because it's an integer over an integer. Now, rational numbers, when you see them in decimal form, might be repeating. So something like 0 0.333, and that just goes on forever. That's also a rational number. They also sometimes have terminating decimal representations, meaning they have a finite number of places. So 0 0.145. That's also a rational number. Irrational numbers are numbers that don't have terminating or repeating decimal representations. It means that their decimal representations just go on forever, and they never repeat, and they never end. Those numbers can't be expressed as an integer over an integer, and that makes them irrational. And when you take the set of rational numbers and the set of irrational numbers, that gives the set of real numbers. Most of the math that we do is done in the set of real numbers. And that's a little bit of information on how to understand number sets. Thanks for learning with me today. If you like this video and would like to learn more about related topics, click on any of the links below. And please remember to rate, like, or subscribe to our channel. If you have any specific questions or requests, please send them to requests at mahalo.com. I'll see you later.